Hey guys, how you doing? I'm gonna do a little show and tell for you of my Willwood reverse mount hanging pedals. Reason I'm gonna do it is when I was at the point where I was trying to figure out what kind of pedals I wanted, <clears throat> there was some information out there on, on the internet for me to get, but not a lot. So since I've done as much research as I can and now I bought a pair and I've installed them, although I haven't driven with them yet, I'm going to pop these off the chassis, take them down in the basement, and kind of show you what I've learned about them. So that possibly if there's somebody out there like me who's kind of looking for a set for the first time, I can show you some of the things to look for and some of the features that they have and stuff like that. So I'll show you a picture of them here in the chassis. This is the Wheelwood reverse mount hanging pedal assembly. <clears throat> For the most part, there's roughly three flavors that you can get these in. This is the reverse mount, they have forward mount, and then they have floor mount. The floor mounts are pretty self-explanatory. The reverse and the forward mounts, with the forward mounts, the master cylinders would be facing this way, which in most applications would put them in the firewall in the fire in the engine compartment because they would be on the other side of the firewall in the reverse mount the master cylinders are actually pointed towards the driver now on my situation i decided to go with the reverse mount hanging pedals because number one i didn't want it on the floor of the buggy i wanted everything mounted up high just to get it out of harm's way and i decided to go with the reverse mount because this will put it on the inside of my firewall and if it was on the outside of the firewall, it would be right next to the front wheel. And as I was going down the trail, it would just constantly be getting hit with rocks and dirt and water and what have you. So <clears throat> even though it makes it pretty tight in my footwell area, um, this is what I decided to go with. Now these master cylinders are um, the tall reservoir. They also sell them in like a, a medium reservoir where it's not as deep. And then they also sell remote remote reservoir master cylinders. With the remote master cylinder res reservoirs, you have the valve body here, just like you do in this one. But instead of having a uh, reservoir cast into it, there's just a connection on the top where you run a, a flexible hose up to wherever you've mounted your reservoir. Now, another thing I had to consider when I was getting this pedal assembly is they sell them in different ratios. The ratios being the distance from the pivot point here down to the end of the pedal. This one is a 5 to 1. They also sold a 6 to 1. Um, the 6 to 1, this portion here was about an inch longer. Basically it gives you more leverage so that you can put a little bit more stopping power on the brakes. Um, I figured two things. Number one, my bug's going to be pretty light maybe around 2,000 pounds, and so I didn't think I needed the extra leverage. And number two, if I got the five to one, my ratio, the, the pedal would be shorter, um, and that will make it a little bit easier to mount in my uh, foot well, which uh, helped quite a bit. Then another feature that they have, and this isn't an option, this comes with it regardless, is the, this is the, the clutch here, this one's, real straightforward it's just pivots here pivots here you can adjust this rod you can adjust any of these but you can adjust this rod to change where the pedal engaged so you can adjust it back and forth a little bit by adjusting these and you can do that on all three of them but on the brakes they have what they call a balance bar here what this is is there's a spherical bearing in here and it's mounted to this threaded shaft and if you if you turn this shaft, then it moves that spherical bearing to the left or to the right. Doing that changes how much pressure this will put onto the master cylinders when you push on it. 
So if you favored that bearing towards the rear master cylinder, when you stepped on this pedal, it would apply more force to the rear master cylinder than to the front. So moving that back and forth changes that. It's like your proportioning valve, but this one is, is completely adjustable. And then to go with that, this bar here that you turn in and out, Wheelwood sells, and I bought it, a, uh, an adjustment knob. So what it is, is it's got a heavy duty cable that connects to the end of this threaded shaft, and then it runs up to a knob that's located on your dashboard. And so with this knob, as I'm driving, as I'm on the trails, on varying terrain, whatever, I'll be able to turn that knob and it'll on the fly adjust this spherical bearing to change the ratio of the brakes to the front to the rear. So I'm pretty stoked to, to mess around with that. So that's about it. I think that's all the info that I have to relay to you about these reverse mount hanging pedals. So now I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna install it in the buggy again. I will get some shots for you of the balance the balance adjusting knob and the cable that connects to here and uh, that'll be it. So these are the pedals bolted back into the position. You can see how the steering comes really close to hitting there, but somehow it doesn't. You can see how I've got it. Mounted on those flanges there. Here's the bias bar knob. Rotating that, this is mounted right underneath the dash. Rotating that will turn that that shaft that I was showing you that is bolted to the um, to the bias bar or the balance bar, and so I'll be able to adjust that on the fly. And that's it. I hope that helps you guys out. <clears throat> if you have any questions, you need something that you need me to take a picture of or what have you, go ahead and post it, and I'll see if I can help you out. Thanks a lot. Bye.